Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rainbows. Today we're doing a movie review slash reaction for Avengers Infinity War. Oh my god, what a movie. <laughs> so, um, it's hard for me to collect my thoughts, so I'll be reading like part of the plot on Wikipedia. So that way I can bring back a bunch of stuff that I probably forgot. So basically we start off the movie with, um, Banner basically really sent a distress signal, and Thanos basically, he took the Power Stone from Xandar already, and his adoptive children, which, honestly, one of them was like Voldemort, I'm not even kidding. And so, anyway, they intercept the um, Asgardian spaceship, and extract the Space Stone from Loki, and... Loki and Hulk are really powerless to stop him, and Hindal uses the Bifrost to send Hulk back to Earth before being killed. Then Thanos legit offs Loki and takes the Space Stone before departing with his children, obliterating the ship. And that's with Hulk being like tied up in metal. And then we have Hulk crash lands at the um. Septum, Septuorium, I can't, anyway, in New York City, where he feels, um, where he goes back to Bruce Banner and warns Str Dr. Strange and Wong about Thanos' plan to destroy all half the universe. So after that, uh, Strange recruits Tony Stark and briefs him on Thanos and the Finney Stones, and he's being a little bit of a douche about it. Well, both of them kind of douchey <laughs> to each other. Basically, like, saying that, um, you know, he has the time stone. He's like, can't you just put that down the garbage disposal? That's what Tony said. And he's like, no. And I think they're not, he, they're not used to each other uh, have dealing with smart people like themselves. So it's kind of hard to interact with them or get along because there's, like, an ego there. In my opinion. And then, uh, then we see that later that, um, two of the aliens, um, arrive to retrieve the Time Stone. It's really just possession. And after a battle, including Peter Parker, he literally saw the flying, well, basically, Tony was right, it's a flying donut. Uh, appears in the sky. He literally jumps out of the bus on the field trip and goes to help out. And so then Mal catches Strange, and then Stark and uh, Parker um, pursue him on the spaceship while Wong remains to protect the, the sanctum. Then Banner contacts the other, <coughs> other Avengers. So then we go to Scotland, where uh, basically two more aliens ambush Wanda and Vision, and they are basically a couple, basically. And then, um, then Romanoff and Falcon rescued them and they have really good fight scenes there and she and Black Widow actually took out the alien I think was at midnight I don't know which one it was the uh, the dude and knocked him out <laughs> and then they take shelter with um, Rhodes at the Avenger headquarters and then we have um, Vision offers to sacrifice himself uh, by having Maxoff destroy the Mind Stone in his forehead to keep Thanos from retrieving it. So basically what they want to do is like, um, since Wanda was uh, technically made from the Tesseract, which was, you know, the Mind Stone of Thanos. The Mind Stone, right? Yeah, the Mind Stone. That she can destroy it because she was given the power through that. And so they could travel to Wakanda to try removing the stone without destroying vision. So that's their uh, main game. Then we have the Guardians of the Galaxy respond to a um, distress signal that Banner sent out in front of the Asgardian ship to, um, you know, see if they need help and to maybe get a ship and to maybe get some money. And then uh, they see Thor, and Thor basically. Um, is so alive, he was like floating in space, and he kind of hit the windshield of the Guardian's ship. And then we have <clears throat> Thanos, uh, and then Thor surprises uh, Thanos, seeks the reality stone, which is in possession of the Collector at Nowhere. 
And so Thor and Rocket and Gru accompany him to that of the basically to retrieve woman to kill Thanos. And it starts with the N Nita Villier. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce stuff. And so um there they meet a tree and create Stormbreaker, basically an enchanted axe that grants Thor the power of the Bifrost. Which is super badass in how they created that. And I think um, the... What's his name again? <laughs> uh, Itri. I think that's the guy from Game of Thrones. A little um, short guy, but they mean like huge! And basically they created through basically Thor opening the iris of the First they get the um the Death Star active again and then he they open the iris thing so to send the stuff to make it while while Thor is literally in the way and they literally do it and they create it and they create the X part but they don't have any wood so Groot uses his arms it, it, you know his arm to create it and chops it off and that's how he has the new Stormbreaker axe hammer. Which is so cool looking. And then we have uh, Peter Quill, Gamora, and Drax, and Mantis uh, go find Thanos on Nowhere with the rally stand already in his possession. Basically, they show up there. They show, he, Thanos basically plays this little act where he alternates reality and saying that, like, oh, I'm going to blah, 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 and that he killed, the Gamora killed him, but he didn't really. She didn't really, so they, um, Peter was supposed to kill her because they made a promise to do that. He tried to do it, but, um, the gun blew out bubbles, and that just didn't work. So he kidnaps Gamora, and, uh, who, who basically reveals the location of the Soul Stone in order to save her another, her other sister, Nebula, from torture. So they travel to Vormir, a planet where, uh, the Red Skull... Hello, callback. It's the keeper of the soul stone and informs them that the stone can only be re uh, retrieved by sacrificing someone that he loves, so he throws Gamora to her death and granted him the soul stone. I did not know they were bringing Red Skull. That was a hell of a surprise. And he knows everybody. Uh, that was a part of his, I guess, uh, demise or whatever. He has to know everyone's business and know everybody and everything. And it's just interesting to bring him back. Like, what? So apparently the test rat brought him there and he spent, well, a lifetime there. And he floats now and has, like, a big, like, hood and everything. Like, you know, almost like a Dementor. But, you know... <laughs> Still him. And then we have uh, Nebula escapes captivity and requests the remaining Guardians to meet her on Titan, which is Thanos' homeworld. And Stark and Parker eject Mal from the ship and off him and rescue Strange. And so they land on Titan where they meet Quill and Drax and Mantis, but they're all fighting until they all kind of get it that they're all on the same side. And then we have Strange uses a time stone to view millions of possible futures and states that there's only one in which Thanos loses out of over 14 million alternate realities or outcomes. Oh my god. So the group forms a plan to, to confront Thanos and remove the Infinity Gauntlet. Thanos arrives to battle um, for the Time Stone, justifying that his plans are necessary to ensure the continued survival of the universe by putting a side to overpopulation, which is sometimes a cray cray mess. And then the group uh, seduces him until Neb Nebula deduces that Thanos killed Gamora. And that's when Quill loses his uh, head and tries to break the group. Uh, he basically tries to beat his face out. And which breaks the group's hold on Thanos, and he overpowers them after Strange uh, surrenders to the Town Stone. In exchange for Thanos uh, sparing Stark, because he did like a deadly blow to Stark, and I was like flipping out. And if they was like, oh my god, oh my god, 
Why? But um, he's going to be fine. And then Thanos departs for Earth. Then we'll go back on Earth where Avengers arrive in Wakanda to task Shuri uh, to uh, safely restrict the monster from Vision. And she is smarter than Banner, which is awesome. Ugh, damn. Ooh, my leg was falling asleep. And she is just a super badass woman. I, oh my god. That is funny to me that she is just so much smarter than Banner is like and trying to figure out um, alternatives for the Mind Stone without just like killing Vision. So that's awesome. So then we have Thanos' army invades Wakanda and the Avengers mount a defense alongside Tekin T'Challa, which is Black Panther, and the Wakanda forces. And so basically, um, Scarlet Witch is going to stay behind so she can remove the stone when they finish and to destroy it. And, but they're seeing that the fight is getting insane and that the Hulk refuses to fight Thanos' forces. I think he's, I think, uh, the Hulk got scared and that's why he's refusing to come out. And then we have Banner is forced to fight in Stark's, um, Hulk Buster armor, which is also pretty cool. Then Thor, Rocket, and Groot arrive on Earth by the Bite Frost to, uh, rally defenders and he goes Animal House on them, like, oh my god, he just goes insane, which is so cool to watch that new Balax in action. And then we have, uh, as the Hulk refuses to fight, oh, I just said that. And so then we have the Midnight, Obsidian, and Guav are killed, and the army is destroyed. <laughs> And then Thanos' arrival spurs Maximoff to destroy the monster, killing Vision because they didn't finish in time. But Thanos used the time stone to undo what she just did and personally retrieve the monster from Vision's forehead and destroy him once again. And then we had, despite being severely wounded by Thor, Thanos activates the Infinity Gauntlet and teleports away. And Thanos' plan because to fruition as beings all over the universe are starting to disintegrate, including Bucky Barnes, Drax, Groot, Mantis, Maximoff, Parker, Quill, Strange, T'Challa, and Wilson. Nebula and Stark are left stranded on Titan while Banner, Nikabu, Okokoi, Rhodes, Rocket, Rogers, Romanoff, and Thor are left on Wakanda and Battlefield. Then Thanos is healed, awakened on another planet, and watches the sunset in satisfaction. Then we go to the post credit scene where a distress signal is stranded by Nick Fury and Maria Hill as they disintegrate amongst others. And the device displays a red, uh, blue, and gold Kree Halla star, indicating that Fury has contacted Carol Danvers, which is Miss Marvel. And that was in the movie. What the, the deaths shocked me beyond all other, because I was certain that uh, Captain America was dying, and I did not expect Bucky to die, Drax, Spider-Man, I did not expect all these people to eat it, basically, in White Panther. I, I was, like, almost yelling at the screen. I was legit almost yelling at it. But um, I do love how they integrate comedy into the movie, and they're not making it forced. But I would give this movie, I'll give this a B. I feel like they could have s slowed down a few parts, because I felt like it just kind of went like that. Like, they were literally off to the races and just, you know, going insane. But I feel like they could have slowed it down just a little bit, even though it's like a, over like a two and a half hour movie, which is great. It's definitely worth your money. I still love the movie a lot, and I like the interactions between all the people that usually would not interact, so I think that's pretty cool. And that um, <laughs> the Chris's were being funny to each other, uh, Pratt and Hensworth, Thor and Quill, and how he, how Quill was trying to sound more like Thor, <laughs> and he was just trying to be more impressive because he loves Kimura. And it's just a funny thing to watch. I mean, 
it was a really, really good movie. I really enjoyed it. I might see it a second time. But I think my all-time favorite movie is Winter Soldier, just because it's literally my favorite. And I think that's going to do it for this video, because it's 15 minutes long. What? <laughs> anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video. So anyway, if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the movie. Do you agree, disagree? Do you, do you agree that the pacing was a little too quick at times, especially at the beginning? I feel like they could have slowed it down and had a little more of a backstory. But that's just my opinion. But anyway, I felt all I thought overall it was a great movie and I was very shocked and I cannot wait for the second part, which is in a year. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. I want y'all have a good day, evening, night, whenever you watch this. This video will probably be up sometime afternoon because I got to go out and work a little bit. So I'll be uploading this while I'm gone. So anyway, I hope y'all have an awesome day. I'll see y'all later. 16 minutes. Oh my god. Bye. <laughs>